If you like CDs, you're going to want to see these. Welcome to Tune Fever, baby. Okay, let's get right into the CDs. Uh, first of all, we have Calculating Infinity by the Dillinger Escape Plan. Okay, this one's like beautifully nuts, and that's exactly why I love it. It's why everybody loves it. If you don't know it, it's a lovely little math metal soliloquy. It'll just take your breath away. Perfect for, you know, like Valentine's Day, uh, like next year. Um, see, see, this is what me and my spouse listened to for Valentine's Day, and it was an evening filled with romance. Uh, well, this and Michael, Bel Michael Bolton, the single greatest artist of all time. So it's, uh, it's, it's math metal for lovers, right? Some Stan Getz compilation, uh, but this one's metal. Yeah, moving on, man. We got Blink-182, Cheshire Cat. Um, ah, yes, the songs of my youth. Uh, so before anyone knew who Travis was, there was Scott. Scott Rayner and before there was whatever that new dude's name is because I don't care about their new stuff there was Tom and uh I guess he was all right and then there's always Mark Mark the Patriarch that's actually hmm yeah Mark the Patriarch I'm I'm riffing here let's keep going uh this was kind of before they were huge uh and it is still an excellent collection of audio works from the young and spry trio young and spry indeed I have been known to make an offhand reference to the song Depends on this from time to time. It is about adult diapers. Um, we'll now move to the uh, next one. Now that the now that the cat's out of the bag. See, I'm riffing. Let's keep going. We got uh, Aphex Twin, Richard D. Richard D. James album is the name of the album. So Aphex Twin, very important electronic artist who really has his own sort of design language basically when it comes to sound. Uh, his music is very engaging, but daisy. It's sort of like unpredictable, yet like earwormy. It, it's nice. Uh, and also earwormy is an adjective now. Uh, find this term in a thesaurus near you. Uh, I'm not sure what it would be an entry in a thesaurus like with but that's that's and and you know how can you say no to that face so next we have miles davis round about midnight um which is the name of the theolonious monk song uh and the name of this album and and their take on this song on track one it was like a more chilling and brilliant rather subdued take on the song and it's it's nice, it's very cool. Uh, and then track two kind of burns you alive, which is, uh, I always forget how to say, Alucha, Alucha, but it's, it's a burner. Uh, it, you know, and that's a nice feeling coming from the chilled thing to just, and then you're just on fire. It's a nice feeling when you're listening through the album. It's really nice. Uh, it's like they, they set you up to kind of unwind and to listen to something beautiful and then impact heard what I said impact um also Coltrane is here of course it's sort of like that 55 60s era um and he's Coltrane's pretty good at math uh up next we have this kind of kind of random but I like it it's Arturo Sandoval uh with with his album called Dream Come True this is not my favorite of his albums but there's stuff on this that I really like um he's one of those like superstar trumpet guys um there's there's stuff on this thing that i have loved for a very very long time just like particular songs um but i've only been listening to the whole album a little more recently i just found it and it's like yeah i'll take that home i love stuff on it i know that um i've been listening to the album it's cool he's a cool artist to get into okay um let's see so i'm on youtube i talk about music on my channel um, who exactly is my target audience? Hmm. Uh, so, so uh, I do a little market research, right? And, and I found that my target audience enjoys Neutral Milk Hotel, uh, which is like, ew, no, not my cup of tea at all. But wait, 
They also think that OK Computer is the best album of all time on the internet, so their taste can't be all bad, even though that's not what I think, but I like that album. Uh, so it's like, what is the internet actually like? And, and it turns out I found this guy on the internet who wears flannels and he gave this album a 10 out of 10. And this guy, he really has taste. Like this guy has taste. Uh, and he said, this is a 10 out of 10. I heard that and I mean, I just knew this had to simply be the greatest album of all time. Uh, of course, uh, uh, except for OK Computer, right? Uh, so as you can tell, I own this, I have access to the internet. Uh, and by the way, it's fairly high speed as well. It's pretty good internet. Um, well, up next we have at the drive-in, uh, in casino, out. Okay, I was thinking it was in casino, out casino, but it's just in casino, out. All right, every song on this, oh man, it's like, it makes you think like, wow, how did they even come up with that? Or why did they even choose to do that? Like the mind that this comes from doesn't make any sense to me. At the drive-in is really off the wall. Um, they're, yeah, they're interesting to me because they're always kind of blaringly loud, but also very sensitive, like unapologetically sensitive is maybe a, a way to put their music in general. Um, it's nice. Okay, Sepultura Roots. This band is interesting because they've played a lot of kinds of styles of metal. With this album in particular, it's much, well, it's pretty much just mean. This album is just really mean sounding. And, and I do think they're starting to get a little groovier here as well, but check out everything they do. I mean, it's like when I listen to Sepultura, it's always like, which album am I in the mood for? Because it's, they, they make a lot of different stuff. Um, this one I would just describe as like, it's like aggressive. It's like a, it's like a, someone who works out a lot punching you in the face, not just someone punching you in the face. It's like some, some like bodybuilder, like the types who wear the little speedo. It's like those dudes punching you in the face. Here's a, here's a weird one that I like. Uh, it's some really odd rock music. Um, it's a little softer, but it, it kind of reminds me of the band called Garbage in a way but it's a bit freakier than garbage though it, it's like kind of psychedelic and it's really weird lyrics i mean the album is really weird but it's it's in it's weird in like a late 90s sort of way so it's kind of charming uh and i like it a lot like it it's freaky and it's fun and it's just so weird uh and, and look at this album cover it's so strange it this is nothing like their music at all i don't i don't understand what they're going for here um Okay, now we're on to System of a Down with their album called Steal This Album. Uh, it's a nice package, right? I paid for it. So if you think about it, I'm sort of making a statement more than they are because they make a statement by telling me to steal the album, but I didn't listen to them. So that's like double contrarian. So uh, I'm, I'm just really woke or something um, with my statement that I'm making by paying for this. Um, and, and you know what? Actually, I bought it secondhand, so I didn't even buy it from them. Jeez, I mean, look, that's like triple contrarian at least. I mean, the wow, I'm I'm really woke now, or something. Uh, dang, I'm a savage. But but have you heard this thing, guys? Have you heard this uh, or anything by this quartet of gentlemen? Uh, they mix metal stuff with like beauty and. Uh, and also sort of like faux pas, like things you're not supposed to do is a really big part of what they do. Uh, things you're not supposed to do in metal, that is. Uh, there's not another band that sounds like this. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, Brandon Marsalis, uh, uh, here's something, a good late 80s jazz album, which that's a weird thing to say because late 80s is dead in terms of jazz. Um, so that's like seriously strange. A late 80s jazz album that's nice. Okay, interesting. Um, it's the younger brother, uh, this gentleman of, of Winton Marsalis, so I have some stuff by, and his discography is quite good. If you're looking for like a prolific writer and player, there's tons of recorded music. This album is very focused on the contributions of the acoustic bass player and the compositions really reflect that. Um, 
and you know even though bass is a completely insignificant instrument that no one can hear anyway um if you're into that sort of thing here you go okay <clears throat> here's an album by a band called armed for the armed for armed for apocalypse called defeat and this band makes a point of interesting metal riffs plenty of harmonizations with the vocals or with the riffs i mean to say um yeah it, it screams I and mean, harmonized screams would be interesting but yeah it's like they do kind of odd riffs in metal and sometimes they're like harmonized it's like it's like a twin lead sort of thing but it's like it's yeah it's interesting and they have a really raw take on the whole stoner metal thing is kind of how I would describe it it's like it's like those people who get really high and then they get really upset that's that's kind of what this is um so they'll punch you in the face because they're high not because they're bodybuilders and and, and they're probably rather skinny <clears throat> okay we have one more in my little pile for this video uh most people know something about this it got pretty huge it's the xx their album i think just that's what it is self-titled uh it got pretty huge normies were really huge fans no nothing against being a normie but normies were really huge fans of the intro track on this album and uh it's like all right xx get your money like i think they were on a, several commercials probably i know that at least they were on a commercial and that's how it blew up but i don't know how many they were in um so it's like, I mean, it's a nice song, but the album is also super good, it really is. It's, uh, yeah, it's like pop music done with like rock instrumentation and it's, uh, there's like the male and female vocal thing and the trade-off and they're, they, they're so moody, so moody. Um, but yeah, they, they split the vocal job it's, and it's really nice. Uh, so I hope y'all, hope y'all liked this haul. I'm rhyming again. Hope y'all like this haul, because if you like CDs, you're gonna want a CD. See, I'm, I'm a. This is poetry. This is, this is true art right here on YouTube.net. Uh, so I'll see y'all in the next video, hopefully sooner than later, which is something I haven't been doing lately because of school. I'm a little busy. Um, hopefully sooner than later. So just thanks for checking out the video. Hope to see you next time.